So let me show you how to create this Google Sheet containing a list of topics that we need to create or optimize or do nothing. So this Google Sheet will uh, guide us through our content strategy and highlight articles to create or to optimize. So the first step will be to get a list of keywords. Here I have a list of keywords. I won't go uh, in the detail uh, how to get keywords. Use your Google Search Console or use uh, any other um, keyword tools. But my advice would be to stay, let's say, on a specific topic. Don't go too broad with your keywords and start with a list of maybe 500 or 1000. Here I have uh, almost 1000 keywords in my in my list and also I have a search volume associated with. You will see why later on it's important to have search volume. All right, then the goal will be to now uh, group these keywords together and identify topics. So you can see in the final sheet, we have topic, but also we have all the related keywords. So all these keywords are uh, related to the main topic. All these keywords uh, have something in common, so they have the same search intent and they display more or less the same SERP. So to do that, we will use a keyword clustering tool. And so for that, I recommend you to use through. Through is a tool that can do many things, uh, including SERP analysis, creating content brief, and as well, uh, clustering keywords. And we will use this tool to cluster our list of keywords. So for that, it's quite simple. Uh, create an account first, obviously, and then go on the cluster feature. You can click here. And from here, you need to upload your list of keywords. So I will select my list of keywords. And then I need to put a name. So put a name. Then you have to say in your Excel uh, or CSV, where is your keyword colon? So select the colon with the keyword, select the colon with the volume, in my case, uh, the column have the same label, but you can have any label. Just select where columns and volume are. If you have no volume, it's fine. It should be set to zero, but at least you need keywords. Then continue, you need to analyze the SERP because the tool will group keywords based on SERP similarity. So now select your SERP of your choice. So here I will keep the US one. Then here enter a domain. It will be really important because then the tool will extract information about your domain and your best ranking pages. So here select a domain, add a new one or select one. And finally, you can review your uh, list of keywords. You can remove some of them if you think that makes no sense. And then you click on this button and in two or three minutes, your uh, content clusters will be created. Then once it's created, you will see them under my topic cluster. So I will open the one I did before. So this one is based on the list of keywords that I've, that I've, that I've shown you before. And so now if you scroll a bit down in the interface, you can see here group of keywords. And this is really important because this is potential new articles. All right. So what is cross border commuter insurance? process for registra registering with CPAM. So these are potential new topic or existing topic that we have on our website and we need to optimize. Um, so it, for, each, uh, for each cluster, you will see the main topic and all the related keywords. So all these keywords I repeat are grouped together now and they represent the same topic. So we don't need to care about, about keywords, we will care about topics. Also for each, for each cluster, you will see also your, your ranking in average. So maybe you have already a page ranking for this keyword and you see in average uh, uh, it's ranking. Now, the first things to do uh, before moving to the, um, to the how to create the report, because yeah, the, the last step will be to download the report here and to show you how to apply some formulas to uh, accelerate the process. But I also would like to show you how you can do that manually if you want to explore the, the clustering uh, results. So now the idea will be to select best clusters because we need to, uh, as I said, create new articles or maybe optimize existing one. So you can play here with the filters and check where you are ranking or not. Check uh, the, the, the volume. Page rank is a uh, metric for uh, domain authority, so or level of competition. So uh, lower it is, uh, less competition you have. So basically you can play with these with different filters to identify uh, some cluster to analyze. 
because the next step will be to analyze the cluster. So let's say uh, I want to check where I'm not drinking really well or where, where the volume is quite high and maybe with a lower comp uh, competition. And then once I'm fine with that, I can click on this button and select this as my favorite. So you repeat this process, you browse the interface to basically select your favorite cluster, right? And at the end, we will have a list of favorite cluster here. I have two and we can move on to the next step that will be analyzing the cluster. With through, you can analyze cluster by clicking on this action. And now it will open a new view. In through, oh, sorry, in this cluster, there is nine keywords in this one, all right? In this one, 14. So through is making a new view of the information here. When you open a cluster and you open the cluster analysis, it creates a new view of, of the information. Here you have a list of pages. These are the best pages ranking for these nine keywords. So through is making an aggregated view of nine SERP, all right? So this is quite good because you understand who are your competitors for this set of keywords. And then you can start analyzing them. Here you can see the page rank, number of words, images. When you click, you can also have here additional information like meta, description, headings, and so on. Here there is nothing, unfortunately. Well, you can select another one with more information. Um, and also we have all the reports. The second report is quite important. The keywords one, because the keywords one will tell you your best page for this set of keywords. And you can see for each, each individual keywords of this set, you can see your best page and its, and its position. So this is how the best page is defined. This is really important because your best page either will have to optimize it or we will have to create another page because this best page is good for another cluster, but not for this one. And you have other information like the topics covered by your competitor, the outline, the questions they cover, the PAA, and so on. So you have a lot of data to understand if you need to optimize or to create an article, what to put in, inside this article. All right, so this manual process can be quite, let's say, time consuming uh, because you need to go through all the, all the content and analyze, analyze uh, the cluster, identifying the best pages, and then uh, select the one, the cluster you want to create uh, and the article you want to optimize. But what you can also do is to download a report. So if you click here, you will have a report containing all the information from from the cluster process. And if I open this Excel, you will see different tabs, information just like an info tab about your the name, the date, etc. And then you have a lot of, uh, of reports. This one is the one that we will need uh, containing the category of the cluster, each cluster, number of the keywords, list of each cluster, the size, so the number of keywords, the volume, average position. If you selected that as a favorite, also the best page, so here you can directly see the best page, and also the average page rank of, of, uh, of this cluster, so the level of competition. There is other views, uh, for instance, this one is quite cool. We have uh, all the questions as well extracted directly, so you have all the questions and PAAs extracted from, from the thousands of keywords that you uploaded, so you can see also, you can get a lot of information if you want to use that as a keyword tool. All right, but now, we will uh, basically use this view to apply our formula. So you can basically copy paste this view here, just copy paste it uh, or keep an Excel or go in Google Sheet, uh, go in, the, in your favorite tool. And what you have to do is basically quite simple because this is exactly the same view here. And you need to apply uh, some formula that are uh, in the document that I share with you. So here in the, you can apply this formula and this formula basically will tell you what to do. Action, if you need to create an article, so basically it's using the average position and the best URL. So based on that, uh, we will tell you if you need to create an article or to optimize the existing one. So basically when you are in the top 20, uh, we suggest to optimize the existing one, otherwise create a new one. And if you are in the top 10, there is nothing to do. Obviously, you can change this data here to uh, have something more uh, tailored to your need. So this is the action and then it's a priority. And the priority are using also the volume and the level of competition. So 
high volume and low level of competition means that the priority is high. So like this, you can also identify uh, where, what to start, what to do first. And so basically uh, here you have at the end, um, you select then based on this action and priorities, the article you want to create and optimize. And if I look at, for instance, as this one, so the one that was in our, uh, the one that we analyzed previously. So this one process for regist registering with CPAM. So here you can see that um, this cluster, in fact, the best article as I show you was this one, cross-border commuter insurance. And I mean, we don't need to be an expert in insurance to understand that this article doesn't really map or is not aligned with the, with the, with the, with the search intent of process for registering with CPAM. So clearly here we need to create a new article. So the action was quite good here. Uh, we need to create a new action. And then you need to create a content, right? So here I advise you to analyze the cluster. Uh, once you identify the one to, to work on and then analyze the competitor. And here you can see that every competitor are speaking about the registration process of uh, CPAM, uh, etc. So once you have defined um, the article to focus on, then analyze uh, the cluster. And also with through what you can do, you can even, um, when you're on a cluster, you can even directly create a content brief. So here I can show you the content brief created uh, with, with through and where you can basically leverage uh, AI to create titles, outline and so on. So you have all also here a great tool to help you start your content creation process. So I hope uh, this information was clear. Um, I repeat, start with a list of keywords group them together following a, a content cluster strategy. So use through here to group them together. Then select your favorite cluster, use this uh, sheet and formulas to define what could be uh, the cluster to focus on. Then once you decided which one you should uh, work on, analyze each individual cluster. So go back in the interface, analyze the cluster, analyze the competitor create a content brief if needed, and then start uh, move on with the content creation of your article. So voila, that's it. 